Hey guys, I figured I'd just uh, show you something interesting while I had the engine apart here. Um, I just finished putting in the uh, lower intake manifold gaskets. Um, so I'll show you exactly what happens on this. Now keep in mind, this engine only has 60,000 miles on it. This is the one I got from the yard. Which, unfortunately, I don't know yet if it runs, but... To do all this work with it in the car is a pain in the ass. I'd really rather do it now than find out later that I need to do it. But good thing I did replace these gaskets because show you exactly what happens with them. This is why the 3800 supercharges always die. See that one right there? That's where the uh, the coolant goes through. That one's not as bad, but this one here as you can see is all deformed and cracked and it was potentially already leaking into this engine so I'm hoping this motor runs like look that's real bad right there broken right through and that's what's ha what happens with this this whole thing is made out of plastic and it just has the rubber gasket material on it and from the heat and supposedly from the dex cool breaks it down look this one's really bad that's the intake right there and that's the coolant one both of these are real bad really just this gas is garbage really hope this engine runs and doesn't have a knock after seeing this now I'm a little bit nervous but that's what happens with these things why you gotta replace these gaskets with the uh, updated uh, aluminum ones which you can kinda see on the edge there it's solid aluminum the whole way around and these don't fail like those other ones do I bought a set of Felpros um, new ones and those are plastic as well so those are garbage you gotta get genuine GM ones from the dealer no they actually weren't that much more expensive they are fifteen dollars for those but the plastic ones are garbage on these engines definitely don't want them and I figured I'd show you while I have it apart here in case anyone's interested what the inside of a supercharger looks like a little bit hard to see get the light Laptop hugging to the light and the batteries useless. But it's those turbines in there that turn. That's all there is to it. Yeah, maybe that might be of interest to someone. So we're kind of getting this engine back together and. Hopefully tomorrow it gets installed.